Man, holy moly. Okay, oh my gosh. You have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me right now. That is the exact same animal. That's another 5G animal. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog from the BHB incubator room. And that can only mean one thing. Either there are babies hatching or in this case, we're gonna actually cut the first clutches of the year. We have three clutches of ball pythons that are due to hatch within the next couple days and we are gonna jump into it. This first one is actually a ghost pastel bred to a ghost cypress honey. But we did have a mimosa, which is a ghost champagne and at the last minute, just as a last minute break. So we don't know who the father is. So let's go ahead and start cutting them and see what's going on. And just to give you guys a rundown what I do is I get a fresh razor blade and I'm just making a very subcutaneous cut this isn't hurting the animal whatsoever there is a network of veins so there's a little bit of blood but it's not the animal so don't you worry about it let's go ahead and cut this first egg and see what is inside see if we could tell what the daddy is what do you got going on in here, little monkey? Okay, so the first animal is just literally a ghost ball python, so that doesn't tell us anything because this entire clutch should be ghosts or hypos, as they call it, a recessive mutation, but we still don't know who the dad is. Let's get on to egg number two here. All right, here we go. What do we have in here? What is we got? Oh, now we know who the dad is. That is actually a pastel mimosa, which is a pastel ghost champagne ball python. But listen, you can have dual father clutches. So right now we know at least that egg was fathered by the mimosa. So let's go ahead and just keep on looking. One more egg. Here we go, guys. What do we have? Come on. Oh, it's so exciting cutting eggs again. Okay. Ooh, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, okay. That just looks like a ghost ball python. So, all right. So, so far, we probably still have the mimosa, but hey, there's still a few more eggs. Here we go for the next egg. Oh, it's like Christmas opening up boxes every time you do this, you know? You never know what you're going to get. Okay. Now, this is interesting here. Hmm. This is kind of interesting because that actually looks like a ghost cypress to me. So I think that that actually might be a dual father clutch where one male fathered some of the eggs and the other male fathered the other eggs. But until it hatches, I can't say for sure. We still have a few more eggs. Maybe we'll get a better understanding when we get these guys cut. Let's see what's inside this one here. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, it looks like another hypo ball python. Doesn't look like there's anything else going on. So, so far we really haven't learned a whole lot other than the fact that we definitely have a mimosa and we might have a cypress. Let's see what these last couple eggs bring. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what do you know? It's another ghost ball python or hypo ball python. And just to give you guys a reset really quick, if it was a champagne that fathered it, about 50% of the baby should be champagne, which would be a mimosa or pastel mimosa, something like that. And if a cypress fathered it, about half the babies would be cypress. So the fact that we've had literally four or maybe even five just normal ghosts is a little bit weird. Last egg. Okay, okay. Now this is this is really interesting. That is 100% a ghost cypress ball python, possibly a honey as well. So we definitely had a dual father clutch. We had a mimosa or a pastel mimosa, and we definitely had at least one ghost cypress, possibly two ghost cypress. So how crazy is that? Take a look at how gorgeous that animal is. You could certainly tell that that one there is a cypress. So, all right, one clutch down, a couple more to go. And this next clutch was actually a female firefly, which is a pastel fire bred to a Woma lesser pinstripe male. So there could be some really cool combos. I think there's five genes floating around. Let's just jump right into it. What do we have here in this egg? Ooh, whoa, that's really pretty. Okay, I tell you what guys, this is crazy. I mean, I think that right there is the five gene animal. That is a firefly woma lesser pinstripe. What are the chances on the very first egg that I got happens to be all five genes together? I am like 99.9% .9 sure that's what it is. So let's see what the next eggs are. Oh my gosh, it's all downhill after that. Man, holy moly. Okay, oh my gosh. You have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me right now. That is the exact same animal. That's another 5G animal. An unbelievable two 5G animals in a row. The odds of that happening are crazy. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Let's see what's going on in this next egg. Oh gosh. Okay, so now this is a little bit more normal here. That one there looks like some sort of a pinstripe. I don't even know. God, that is really pretty. I'm not sure exactly what that one is, but it's got some beautiful striping on it. Holy moly, this clutch has proven to be absolutely incredible. 
All right, what do, ooh, okay, okay. Now this one actually looks like it's a fire walnut lesser pinstripe. So that's a forging animal. It just looks like it's missing the pastel, but still absolutely incredible. Here we go, another egg. Ooh, what do we got, what do we got? Ooh, that's a pretty animal right there. Oh, that is gonna be gorgeous. Oh my God. So that is actually a Firefly Lesser Woma. So it's just missing the pinstripe. What are the chances that I'm getting so lucky on the odds here? Okay, we got a few more eggs. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. This is crazy right now. That is a normal ball python. Now the odds of producing a normal ball python from this pairing is probably like 1 in 64. So that is a really long shot that I produce an absolute normal. But that's okay. The other eggs are amazing. A few more eggs to go here, guys. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh. This has been so fun. Okay. Ooh, that is beautiful. Okay, so what we actually have there is a dragonfly lesser ball python. So that's basically a pastel, a fire, a pinstripe, and a lesser. That is one beautiful snake right there. I cannot wait till that hatches. Two more eggs. Let's see what else we have in this clutch. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. You have to be kidding me right now. You have to be kidding me right now. That is another 5G animal. That is the Firefly Woma Lesser Pinstripe. Three of them in this clutch. Oh my God, if my year returns out this way with the odds, it's gonna be amazing. Last egg in this clutch. Holy moly, this has been so exciting. All right, and there we go. The last egg is actually a single gene animal, just a pinstripe, but oh my gosh, was that freaking amazing. That clutch was insane. I forgot how much I love cutting eggs. Oh my gosh, one more clutch to cut, and then we're gonna get over to the shop. And this clutch is actually a bumblebee, which is a pastel spider, right to a dragonfly, which is a pastel fire pinstripe. So there should be some really beautiful snakes in this clutch. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. All right, first egg. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, all right. That actually just looks like a firefly. So that's just a pastel fire, which is completely fine. It's kind of the lower end of the genes, but that's okay. We've got plenty of eggs still to go here. Let's see what's next. Okay, and you can see right there, that's a pretty, pretty snake. That is actually a fire bumblebee, which is the fire, the pastel, and the spider. Really pretty animals. That's really nice. And it could actually even be a killer, which is the double or the super pastel. Oh yeah, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is absolutely the super pastel fire bumblebee. That is absolutely gonna be a beautiful snake. Let's keep going here. All right, what do we have? Let's see. I'm really hoping for that spinner. I want that fire. Oh, wait, 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 what, what, what? Oh my gosh, I was just about to say it, and we got it. This is the Super Pastel Spinner Fire Ball Python. So that's all the genes mixed together. So that's all five genes. Oh my gosh, we hit it. I am so excited about it. We've got a few eggs to go to, so let's keep going. All right, what do we have in this, this egg here? Okay, it looks like, again, another firefly, which is the Pastel Fire. A few more eggs here. What do we have? Oh, yes! That is absolutely gorgeous! I'm not really sure what that one is. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I don't know, that is really weird. That's definitely a super pastel. There's some other things going on. I don't know. There might be a mixed gene in there because I'm gonna be honest with you, that looks like there's cinnamon in there, which wouldn't make any sense with that breeding. Maybe enough, I don't know what's going on. We'll have to wait till that one hatches. Two more eggs. Here we go. What do we have? Ooh, okay. This one's kind of flipped up, but I can see what's going on in the tail right there. Let's see if we can just get that animal to flip over a little bit. Ah, that definitely looks like there's pastel, spider, and pinstripe in it. I can't tell if there's fire or not. We're gonna have to wait till that one hatches, but one last egg to cut today. Let's go ahead and see. And what do we have here? Oh, okay. <laughs> the last egg is a fire pinstripe. But oh my gosh, guys, there were some great odds there. That was so much fun. I totally missed that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. In the meantime, let's go ahead and wrap up here in the incubator and get over to the shop. And back to the shop. And you guys know that I'm not going to go a day without pulling some snake eggs, right? Let's go ahead and see what this girl has going on. She's actually a het lavender and a het terrazzo corn snake. Wow, she's beautiful. And wow, that is an amazingly beautiful clutch of eggs. Take a look at that. Good job, you mama. That is absolutely incredible. Look at these pearly whites. Oh my gosh. There is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 good eggs. I always love that. Good job. You look so good. I tell you what, that's a great way to start. We only have a couple clutches to pull today really quick, so let's go ahead and get this one in the incubator box and pull the next clutch. 
Ooh, doggy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love seeing that. Good job, mom. Oh my gosh. She's not a big girl. Look at she's not a very big girl. But that looks like an absolutely amazing clutch of eggs. And there's a little bit of dimpling. Again, she just pushed this mouse back just a little bit, which causes just a little bit of dimpling in the egg. But overall, not bad at all. That is a really nice clutch. That's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen eggs. And she is actually a snow corn snake that is bred to a coral snow that really high pink strain so that is really good so how is that a couple of beautiful clutches of egg i wanted to tell you guys a couple things while we're looking at this beautiful leucistic texas rat snake but you notice she has pink eyes so it's called a pink eyed leucistic texas rat snake she is absolutely gorgeous but number one i was going to tell you that i think tomorrow i'm going to do oh she just bit me i think tomorrow i'm going to do kind of a room tour where i'm going to just go around and look at some of all the awesome animals here because i am about to head off on a couple week adventure so i'm not going to be around Oh, here a feisty little monkey. What is wrong with you, mama? So I want to make sure I just kind of go around. So what do you guys think about that? And secondly, one of my trips is going out to LA. We're going to do a bunch of really cool collabs, a bunch of really cool stuff. Plus, that's very kind out there. Regardless, I wanted to tell you something that's going to be amazing. Myself and Jay over at Prehistoric Pets. You guys know Jay, the crazy guy with all the big snakes. I absolutely love the guy. We are going to do a meetup at his place at the Reptile Zoo in Fountain Valley, California, Saturday at 5 o'clock clock out in California. So if you're in the California, LA area, wherever, if you can travel in Saturday, five o'clock at night, we are doing a huge meetup with me and Jay over at the Reptile Zoo at Prehistoric Pets. So if you're in the area, please come see me. So how awesome is that going to be? All right, guys. So today we all got little haircuts. As you can see, you got, got the sides trimmed up. Mom, mom, you got what? You got highlights and stuff? I got some color done, some you know. Some color and touch -ups. dad. What do you guys think? Jeez. I mean, I think this looks pretty good. What do you think, Lori? You like it? What the heck did you do? What What <laughs> the heck, man? Come on. What? This is terrible. Who the heck cut your hair? <laughs> you guys don't like the new do? Oh my God. No. It is totally, wait a second. He looks like his, what is it? Third or fourth grade picture <laughs> when he was a kid. I don't know. What you're I don't I don't know what you guys are talking about. I think this looks good. Do you guys like this new look? Oh my god. You look like a science teacher <laughs> that's on crack. <laughs> okay, okay, I didn't get my hair cut, guys, but they did get their hair cut. Noah looks good. Norm definitely looks good. Let me know if you guys think. You know, every now and then I think, man, maybe I should get my hair cut. Let me know in the comments if <laughs> and you guys you think. do that. <laughs> and then you're like, no. <laughs> yeah, seriously. See, this is why I don't get my hair cut, people. If their hair looks good and uh, I still have the same hairdo I always have. And with that said, I think we're going to go ahead and end the vlog here. By the way, if you guys don't know it, Noah has been posting again on his channel. Link down in the description. You're posting what, like three, four times a week? I post every other day, so go check it out. That, and he streams every day too, yeah. playing games. So if you guys are into gaming, check that out. Lori looks absolutely amazing <laughs> right now. I hope that you guys have oh. an incredible, absolutely amazing day. Thank you guys for all your support. You mean the world to me. Go ahead and do me a favor guys smash that like button leave a comment down below turn the post notifications on do what you love and love what you do i promise i'm going to see you guys tomorrow